Hi guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new. So this is Alex and today we are gonna be kind of refreshing her balayage, toning it down a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with Redken Shades EQ 7M, 8N, and 8V. So I'm using mostly 7M, about an ounce of this, and then a half ounce of 8N and a half ounce of 8V. You could see in her before that she was pretty brassy and we wanna tone that down along with toning her a little bit darker as well. And with Shades EQ, you normally use the processing solution that goes with it however i have been loving 10 volume developer with it instead i also will have a little experiment at the end of this video about the difference between a 10 volume and a processing solution if you're interested in that because i get a lot of questions to do a side by side um, of how the color performs and all of that so stay tuned to the end if you want to see that but i will be mixing 10 volume equal parts with the Shades EQ formula that I have. And I know this is a super simple kind of process, but it's one of my favorites because it's so versatile. You can change it so many ways. With a lot of clients, she likes to have a lot of change, and this was a good change that's not super permanent for her, so that next time I see her, we can move on to something else pretty quickly and easily. So I'm just going to be putting this new formula all over the lighter pieces. We're leaving her roots out because it's really not going to do much with her roots at all. It's not going to change the color of them at all. And Redken recommends that you put this on dry hair for 20 minutes. And that is going to ensure that it will last the full time it's supposed to. And what I was kind of taught was that one minute equals one wash. So that basically we're leaving it on for 20 minutes, which is a full time, like I said. And that means that she will be able to get 20 washes out of this color. However, I kind of found a little trick that when I use 10 volume with it, I feel like it lasts a little bit longer. That may not be true, but I swear it lasts longer, you guys. I have used regular processing solution on her and it does not last near as long as when I use 10 volume. I think you should try it. Let me know what you guys think, but I will be doing an experiment, like I said, at the end, and maybe I will kind of continue back with that and see if it does last longer or if it lasts about the same. Same thing on the sides, guys. Just make sure that you are saturating really well, combing it through. I love Shades EQ for a nice demi-permanent color. It is beautiful and you can change it so much. We could have done any kind of formula on her, but this one we just kind of wanted to tone it down, give her something nice and rich and kind of bring her hair back to life. It was looking a bit dull, super brassy. We just wanted to give it some color again and just make it look super nice and rich and shiny and healthy. And Shades EQ is perfect for that. I also want to point out that there's not a huge difference between processing solution and 10 volume. Processing solution is only about a 7 volume and then 10 volume is 10 volume. So there's really not a huge jump in the numbers there. If there was, I wouldn't have used it. I only used it because I was out of processing solution and needed 10 volume to work with it and I was just kind of in a pinch. So I used it and honestly, I loved it ever since. I love the consistency. It was way more creamy, which is what I prefer and it lasted a little bit longer when my client came back in and I was really shocked so I kept trying it and you guys I literally fell in love and I only really use the processing solution when I'm toning at the bowl if I'm doing colors like this I will always use tin volume it is amazing um, so I really think you should try it I've gotten so many comments on TikTok asking me to show a side-by-side -side of the processing solution and 10 volume to see what the difference is between them and color-wise, if it affects the color at all um, or anything like that. So that's why I wanted to do the experiment for you guys so we can kind of see together because I never, you know, did a side-by-side. -side. I just kind of used it because I needed it. I also want to give a huge shout out to the Matrix Shine Rinse. I think this is called a lamellar treatment, if I'm saying that correctly, I'm not sure, but it's amazing. Made her hair super soft and shiny within eight seconds. Yes, eight seconds. And now we're going to be moving on to curling it. Her hair only really does a good job holding a curl when it's done with a straightener. This is a hot tool straightener. It's very skinny and I have the heat on 325, pretty low. You guys want to keep your heat low. You don't need to be scorching the hair at all. It's going to curl, just trust me on it and we're just curling it. It's gonna be beautiful. You can already see how shiny and luscious her hair looks already, and the color is beautiful, amazing.
I then finished her off with Olaplex number seven and here is her beautiful shiny new hair. It is back to life. We are loving it and we'll probably change it next time. So stay tuned. But now for the experiment portion of the video, I have a swatch, same swatch. One is just colored um, on top so you can keep track. I'm using 7N with Shades EQ and on one side I'm going to be using the processing solution and then on the other side I'm going to be using a tin volume. So with the processing solution, you can tell that it's more of like a liquid jelly kind of feel. And with the cream developer, it is more creamy, of course, because it is a cream developer. So I'm going to be painting it on the same exact swatch and letting it sit for the same amount of time. All of that, making it as even as I possibly can. So first things first with the cream developer, I only had to dip in here twice before it really like saturated through the whole swatch and then with the processing solution I had to dip in a couple times it didn't spread as easily which is kind of annoying I normally use processing solution when I'm toning the hair at the bowl when the hair is already wet and I normally don't have this issue but on dry hair it didn't spread as well and after we let it process um, for 20 minutes I'm checking it everything looks the same the color is the exact same which is good I only really enjoy the 10 volume because of the consistency on dry hair and I do feel like it lasts a little bit longer. I might be crazy, but I swear, you guys, it really does. I've been testing this on people for a while, and their color still looks so good after they come back and see me, you know, weeks, even months later. So I washed it with the Uberless um, Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner, and here we are all dried. It's the same color, you guys. It is the exact same thing. So if you want me to test how long it really lasts, let me know. But thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe and comment. I love you guys so much. See you next time. Bye, guys.